Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine uh, two coterminal angles, one positive and one negative, um, that is between 0 and 2 pi, that, um, that are between 0 and 2 pi. And the important thing to remember about coterminal angles is coterminal angles are angles that have the exact same initial and terminal side. So for instance, let's just kind of you know, go through here. Just go through an example. So if I had this angle here, Right? You can see that here's my initial side and here's my terminal side. And you know, it looks like maybe like 3 pi over 4 or something like that. Well, if I wanted to find a coterminal angle, what I could do is I could go in the negative direction. right? So you could see then and I still have the initial and I still have the terminal side. I could also go in the negative direction and then just do an extra loop. right? So I could go in the negative direction and then go around once. So I still am starting at the initial side and I'm still ending at the same terminal side. I could also do this in the positive direction. I could also start here. Instead of ending here, which would be our initial angle, I can go around one more time. So the basic understanding of coterminal angles is that they have the same initial and terminal side. The also the difference is, you know, when I'm getting besides the positive and the negative, to get to the other angle, all I'm simply doing is adding revolutions, meaning going around, you know, the circle one time, which is equivalent to the distance of two pi in radians or 360 in degrees. So when I want to identify what coterminal angles are, all I'm simply going to do is add and subtract two pi so that I have one angle. Now again, it depends on the question, but I'm going to add and subtract two pi so that I have one positive coterminal angle and one negative coterminal angle. Um, sometimes it's helpful to sketch the graph, but it's not always necessary to have to sketch them. Um, basically, for instance, I have 150 degrees. Now, I know that is, uh, well, let's, just take, let's just take a look at the, I'll do, for the first two, I will show an example as far as a picture. So 150 degrees, if I was going to sketch that, that actually kind of looks very similar to what I have here. Um, or what I initially did. So 150 degrees, that angle is going to look something like that. Now, if I want to find a positive coterminal angle, um, all I simply need to do is I'm going to add a revolution to that. That means I'm going to add a distance of going around the circle one time. So I'm going to say 150 degrees plus 360 degrees. And that is going to give me 400, 510. 510 degrees. However, if I want to find the um, if I want to find a negative coterminal angle, then what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to take 150 degrees, and now I am going to subtract 360 degrees, and that is going to give me a negative 200 and 10 degrees. So basically what that's telling me is I can either go, um, the black is my original angle, 150 degrees. I can add, go around 360 degrees, which give me an angle 510, which will still give me the same angle. Or I can also go in the negative direction, negative 210 degrees, and that will give me the same angle. Again, the same initial and terminal sides. Uh, so now let's go and do negative 360 here a little bit quicker. I'm not going to go through actually what the angle is. We just know that we can um, keep on subtracting, uh, add and subtract 3 pi, so or 360 degrees. So here I have negative 60. Now, the first thing I want to do is you know, add 360 degrees. Now, when I go ahead and do that, what you notice is I have negative 400 degrees. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's still over. Um, that's still over. If you're going to do negative um, 760, negative 400 degrees is still over a pi. I want to be able to find coterminal angles that are between 0 and 360. So I need to subtract. I'm sorry, I need to add 360 degrees again. And when doing that, I get negative 40 degrees. Now, negative 40 degrees is between 0 and 360, right? It's just in the negative direction. So therefore, we're good. Um, and then if I want to find the positive one, well, I need to keep on adding 360. I'm actually not going to subtract one because I already have a negative. Now I just need to now take this. And I'm going to take negative 40 degrees, and I'm going to again add 360 degrees. Therefore, that's now going to give me um, a positive 320 degrees. Therefore, my positive angle that's between 0 and 360, that is coterminal to negative 760, is 320. My negative angle that's between 0 and 360, that's coterminal to negative 760, is negative 40 degrees. Again, the reason why it wasn't negative 400 because that's not between 0 and 360. And that's what I said my initial constraints were. 
and the other thing is, again, I kept on adding um, 360 because um, I didn't have to subtract them because I already had negative angles. I wanted to provide a negative and a positive, which this one, adding and subtracting quickly, uh, quickly um, determined. But since I had an angle that was so far in the negative direction, I had to just only add the 360. So now let's go and get to po now let's go and get to um, uh, uh, radians. Now when dealing with radians, a lot of students have a little trouble with radians because you know, we start getting into fractions again. Now, it's very, very important, very, very, very important to remember that 2 pi is equivalent to 360. So as far as the process goes, we're going to be doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. Um, all I simply need to do here is add and subtract 2 pi. Um, well, again, as long as the angle is between 0 and 2 pi. So this one is between 0 and 2 pi. Again, as I mentioned, I will show you what the graph would look like on this. Again, if I was going to graph this, I'm not going to go there. I break this up into six. Oh yeah, that actually work, would work. So therefore, negative five pi over six, you're starting here at your initial side. You're going in the negative direction. So negative one pi over six, two pi over six, three pi over six, four pi over six, five pi over six. OK? So again, we're trying to find coterminal angles that are going to have the same initial and terminal sides. Well, again, we can go in the negative direction. Or we can, oh, I'm sorry, in the positive direction, or we can continue in the negative direction and just do an extra loop, right? And you could continue doing those loops, but we only want to find coterminal angles that are between 0 and 2 pi. So since my initial angle is between 0 and 2 pi, I'm simply just going to add and subtract 2 pi. So I'm simply going to take negative 5 pi over 6 and add 2 pi. Now, um, whenever we're adding fractions, I'll break this one down. I'll break this one down first, and then the rest of them I'm not going to break down anymore. Or well, adding subtracting fractions, remember we've got to have the same denominator. So that means I need to multiply by 6 over 6. So therefore, this is negative 5 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6. Okay? So really, adding 2 pi is the same thing as adding 12 pi over 6. And that's what I'm going to do um, for this subtraction as well. So now I just do negative 5 pi um, plus 12 pi. Ne negative 5 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6. Add the numerators, keep the denominator the same. And therefore, I get 7 pi over 6. So that is my positive angle. Now I need to subtract. So I do negative 5 pi over 6 minus 12 pi over 6. Yeah, again, remember you're still subtracting 2 pi, but 12 pi over 6 is the same thing as uh, 2 pi. So now I do negative 5 pi minus uh, 12 pi, and that's going to leave me with the negative 17 pi over 6. And that is going to be my negative angle. Now, in this case, you can see that we have 19 pi over 6. Well, again, this initial angle, 19 pi over 6, that's over 360. So um, if I subtract 2 pi, which again, oops, it looks like it's the same thing. If I subtract 2 pi, I'm still going to have a positive angle. So I'm going to want to keep on subtracting them until I get an angle that's between 2 pi. And then keep on subtracting it so I also have a negative angle. So um, basically what I'm going to have is 19 pi over 6 minus, now again, two, sub, instead of subtracting 2 pi, I'm just going to subtract 12 pi over 6. Okay, And when I do that, I get 7 pi over 6. Well, 7 pi over 6 is a positive angle between 0 and 2 pi. So therefore, that's my positive angle. Now, to find, um, to find the negative angle, I'm going to do 7 pi over 6. I'm going to subtract again 12 pi over 6. And I guess what? I get a negative 5 pi over 6. So um, these answers are not supposed to be very similar, but they end up being pretty close to each other. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that my positive and negative in this example, I just had to keep on subtracting 2 pi. I didn't have to add and subtract. I just had to keep on subtracting to get a positive angle between 0 and 2 pi and a negative angle between 0, zero and 2 pi. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you subtract and add to determine coterminal angles. Thanks.